In this video, I'll show you how to install Asterisk 22 on the Ubuntu 24. This is for the new uh, Asterisk training. So we are updating the operating system and Asterisk it itself. At the point I'm um, creating this video, Asterisk 22 is still in the release candidate. So it will probably uh, out in a few in a few weeks. Okay, let's do it. So I, here I have step one, install Ubuntu. Ubuntu is already installed. I'm using uh, DigitalOcean in this case. I decided rather than using virtual machine, I'm using a server on DigitalOcean, but you can install on a virtual machine if you prefer. Uh, second, there are the instructions. So basically here we install the dependencies and then the process is more or less the same as it was in the in the past. So let's start. First, let's do uh, do an apt-get update. Then let's install all the dependencies. Now I'm going to download. So I will change to cd slash usr src as we still don't have a current release because we are in the release candidate 2 uh, so i will download directly from uh, asterisk 22 testing uh, actually it makes perfect sense to start before the final release because it's a newer version. It will we'll have a little more time for this version on the system. And usually the, there are very few changes after the release candidate. Okay. Now I'll, I, will, I will uncompress the file. Extract. Once extracted, let me go there. That's twenty two, and then uh, probably when you start doing this training, you're going to have exactly how it was described in the in the lab, right? In the lab, what we have. So let me go to the assignment. In the assignment, you're going to see asterisk uh, current dot r dot gz. When released, this will be this will be correct, right? So let me open here, view more. Perfect. Now let's let's compile. So let's start uh, configuring. Great. Now it has been configured. Now let's go to next step. The next step is to make and make install and make config and make samples. Uh, make is to compile, uh, asterisk. Uh, make install to install. Make config to generate the configuration files to restart asterisk automatically. And make samples to create the example files in, on dash slash etc slash asterisk. This will take some time. Well, the installation finished. So let's see what's our next step. It took almost 15 minutes. So let's go next. Uh, next, let's see if it's working using, let's load uh, manually and stop manually. Then let's load it automatically on the, on the system. So this is this is quite important. So you can load manually asterisk using asterisk dash v as verbose, g for debugging, and c for console. It goes straight to the console. So it's ready, it's running. The problem here, I can do quit because I'm not, it's not a remote session. I'm actually in the console of the system. So let me do a core stop now to stop asterisk. So the process is not running anymore, right? 
Now, uh, I want to show you the difference between loading and connecting. So let me load asterisk directly. I just load in memory. So this is asterisk running there. Now, now let me do asterisk dash R. Dash R is a remote connection. So I'm going to connect to the asterisk demo. Now I can do quit, but the process is still running. I will kill this process. Uh, for one. The correct way to start asterisk after installation is using systemd. So I'm going to use systemctl start asterisk. And now systemctl status asterisk. Then I can see the status of the system. It's running. Uh, it restarts automatically. And if I want to stop is system CTL stop asterisk. So this is the simple installation of the asterisk server compiling the source code. Uh, the most difficult part of the installation is actually to discover all the dependencies that you need to, to compile this, uh, the server. Another important thing is if you use make menu select, you can select modules, uh, modules that you want to install or not. So if you want to install something like uh, channel H323 or format MP3, you, you should uh, go here as an example. Uh, applications, bridging uh, modules, call detail records. So anything you can install is here. One thing that it's uh, different now is we don't have the Chen SIP anymore on the Asterisk 22. So we have to use Chen PJ SIP and Chen SIP is being removed from this training. And this finishes our, our first section, the installation of, of Asterisk. The only thing that really has changed from the previous module, from the previous training is the, are the list of dependencies. So, see you in the next video.